All righty. Um, so we're here to talk about 2020-8, uh, uh, the annual renewal fee section in uh, clauses in section four. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, problem statement. It, this was observed in the policy experience report um, that the there is a reference to fees. As uh, in the community, we do not actually deal with fees within the general policy manual. That is actually fees are handled by the board and by arrangements between individuals. Um, and they're not referenced anywhere else in our policy. So that was raised by the policy experience working group within the AC as an issue to address. Next slide, please. I mentioned a little bit already that the RSA is what covers the fees. Um, and so the policy statement was that it was to be uh, removed a few sentences uh, from section 4.2.1.2. Next slide, please. Joe, if you could try whatever you did before again, our, if the transcription is having a hard time hearing you, sorry. My apologies to the transcription. Perfect, thank, thank you. Directly into this little microphone. Um, so this was the draft text that, ex that exists in the policy as currently uh, presented um, and on the website and sent out to PPML, um, merely striking the last two sentences of the clause. Next slide, please. So the history, proposal in August became accepted as a draft, August 20th, um, and out on uh, discussion on PPML. Uh, next slide, please. The PPML feedback was mostly in favor, but asking for us to be more aggressive, basically. Um, there was one party that uh, was against the entire concept. Next slide, please. Sadly, it was only three people. So that's not really a lot of feedback, um, but really, as I mentioned, the feedback theme was generally that more needs to go. And we're here today because we need more input from the community to actually move this further. Uh, myself and Owen DeLong, who are the shepherds on this, we're also on the NERP and cleanup working group. So we actually think that the commentary about this not being aggressive enough to deal with the fee reference is good. So we actually uh, lean to this language, which is the first time it's coming out because we kind of hacked on this a bit before the meeting. Um, so it will be floated to PPML in some form after we get feedback from folks here at this meeting. And we suggest that we eliminate 4.2.1.2 in its entirety and replace it with a definition that uh, is inspired by uh, uh, Mr. Farmer's suggestion on PPML to merely outline what the RSA is and, and its relationship with policy. Um, in no small part, this is because uh, section four is really about B4 and, and fees and policy relationships, the RSA relationship covers the entire set of policies. Um, next slide, please. So we'll go back when, when and put that text up when we're having the discussion. But the, the, the point is that we're here with some new potential language to try to get uh, community support. So do you support or oppose the intent of removing this from section four? Do you agree that putting it in definitions is the correct path? Do you have suggestions for better text? Do you have a better path that we should go down? Or do you think we've completely missed an issue that needs to be addressed? Oh, I have a visitor. At least, at least my weak microphone is not letting you hear the barking dog that just came to visit. Oh, we can hear the barking dog. That makes it a Zoom meeting. <laughs> that makes it a Zoom meeting. Perfect. Okay, so uh, with that, it's uh, uh, that ends the presentation. And I don't know if uh, Paul would rather leave the discussion points or the text up, but I'd like to hand it back. If I am mute, there you go. Uh, yes, let's leave the discussion points up because I think that's great uh, to help the conversation. Uh, so the uh, microphones are open, the same draft. This is your last uh, policy of this uh, public policy meeting. So now time to get the uh, get your comments out. So I see the first one is um, from John Bryan of uh, UPenn. A should, smells like bad policy, should in air quotes. I support removing or fully rewriting the text. 
Thank you, John, for that comment. Andrew Dole, Aaron ACNA Cottons Networks. I like the idea of deleting this section and adding a definition, so I'll take it as in favor, Andrew. Celeste Anderson of uh, Pacific Wave, uh, support removal of the paragraph and including a definition. Thank you, Celeste. Other comments? A few seconds, although I'm not surprised that this might be a quiet one. Joey, of course, are giving us a vibrant non-virtual background, or it's a very impressive virtual background, one of the two. This is just uh, uh, autumn in New England, sir. <laughs> autumn in New England. David Farmer of University of Minnesota, I support continued work and support deleting the current text and including a definition. Thank you. I'll give another 15 seconds and then the queues will be closed and we'll just take whatever we have at that point. Uh, Gary Geeson, Central Logic. I support the approach of this policy and I agree references to the RSA where appropriate instead of having potentially two conflicting documents. Thank you, Gary. And Joe Pace, I support the policy change as well. Um, seeing no further Q&A, seeing no further hands up, I believe this uh, will end the feedback. So I thank Joe Provo for the presentation. Uh, and making this an official Zoom meeting, and uh, this information will be considered by the AC. This brings us to the end of our last policy, so I thank the entire community for all their input and in all policy proposals. If you do uh, have further ideas for policy, um, we can, uh, we have our open microphone later. Um, you can uh, put in the chat. Normally I'd say go find an AC member at the break, but I guess the virtual clue of that would be uh, any of the AC members are happy for you to approach, approach them uh, either on the chat here or by email. Um, and so again, if you have an idea for or feedback on any of the proposals, they're, they're always happy to take it. And of course, there's the Aaron public policy mailing list where this discussion will continue until uh, we meet again in some form in April. And I will allow it, even though it is a little late, I'll just assume it's uh, his slow fiber connection. Uh, Louis Lee from Google Fiber, NRONC, would like to just add that he supports replacing the text with the definition. Uh, I guess the fiber optics failed us then. So with that, I'll turn it over to John because I know we're a little early for the break. and I think you get uh, bonus material. <laughs>